Hey folks, it's Chad Duplantis with Dennis in the Know, and we are at the Chicago Midwinter having a blast. I'm here with my really good friend, Dr. Lon McRae from Meridian, Idaho. Did I say it right? You did. All yeah. right, good. Lon, good to see you, bud. Hey, great to see you, Chad. You know, it's funny. Uh, I think today, well, today is Friday. Of course, this is not time stamped, but today is Friday. Uh, I think we were together last Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Skipped a day. And then I came here, and then I run into you this Friday. So yeah, blew my mind when I actually saw you in the yeah, same hotel too. Same same hotel, yeah. So for those of you that don't know Lon, um, there's a lot of things that we could talk to Lon about. But Lon, first of all, tell us uh, about your practice and how it differs from other traditional dental practices. No, um, we do a lot of things. We we started about six seven years ago. We started a medical practice in our dental practice. Okay. And that took us some time to be able to kind of figure out how that would work. But what we did is we took the same staff, the same team that we have, and we just said, okay, could we potentially add a medical provider? And that happens to be my nephew, who's a nurse practitioner in the state of Idaho. A nurse practitioner is very similar to a general practitioner in medicine, MD. Okay. And so what we, we thought was, okay, what? If you think about dentistry, we see a patient every six months. We could take those same patients and convert them into being able to see the nurse practitioner once a year. Okay. That's kind of where we started. And what we found is that didn't work. Um, most of the, these patients are very loyal to their own physician. They want to see their own dentist. So it didn't work. But what did work was the aesthetic side of it. And so he is just absolutely blossomed. Now we have, let's see, we've got six other employees that are dedicated to the aesthetic side. We do everything from hair restorations to liposuction in a dental office. It's amazing. So it's it's pretty cool what we've been able to accomplish. So I you know I, I try to when we're talking about people and, and as as lecturers, I think as lecturers and friends we always try to promote each other and I'm I always tell people he's got a really unique practice, but one question always comes up that I think, you know, when I try to explain that is your in, in the state of Idaho obviously it's different by state but in the state of Idaho is your license are you the medical director of the medical side or is that not needed no it's, he's the medical director of the medical side okay so he has so how it works is that if there is a medical assistant it is under his license okay but here's the cool part even if we take a dental assistant he can actually make them a medical assistant under his own license. Okay, okay. So we have dental assistants that actually work under both sides. Okay, okay. They just got went and potentially they got a, an aesthetics license. They learned how to use a laser, whatever that is necessary to be able to do both. Um, and then there's certain things that he can only do and certain things that I can only do. But we have combination cases. We'll have a patient that come, came in, uh, it was probably about a year ago, and he had to have liposuction underneath his chin, and then I did his veneers, we sedated him, and we worked together. We do things like that a lot. That's that's really awesome, and I, and I think that, you know, most states aren't opposed to having a dental and a medical office under the same roof, it's just each state's laws are gonna vary, obviously, and there's gonna oh, yeah. be different requirements, but... So if I mean, you think about it, though, there's about 30 states that the nurse practitioner is, they have pretty much complete control under their own laws, under the nursing board, not under the medical board, under the nursing board. So that's that's what separates it. Do you think that it, it's, uh, I mean, I'm not to get political or anything, but do you think that that's possibly because of the population of different states and the need for providers in different states that the the laws may be a little bit different? Oh yeah, and okay. I, think, I think what you're gonna see is I think every state is gonna allow more and more of these nurse practitioners to be able to do the certain things. And, and, and they're gonna have more autonomy within those states. Uh, that, that's just gonna happen. Maybe the aviation need, uh, industry needs pilot practitioners. <laughs> so, so we can Maybe. find people to fly the planes in a few years. Uh, so talk, we talked about the whole oh, scope. In reality, AI is gonna be flying the planes. Yeah, that's true I mean, too. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. Uh, let's talk about your dental practice. What is, what is your passion in dentistry? Well, uh, right now there's two main things. One is sleep uh, okay. and airway, but the, my main passion is implants. I okay. mean, I, I, I think what we're doing with implants is very unique, and that is the, that is the thing that kind of gets me all jazzed. I mean, it, the, the, like the all on fours and the all on sixes, yeah, that's okay. But what I really love is when a patient comes in 
they have tooth number eight that needs to be replaced. And we do that in combination with a complete smile design. And they, will, they leave with that, the implant, the abutment, everything in place all at once. We call it the all-in concept. Okay, okay. And I think it's just unique in the way that we do it. You know, uh, I sat through this presentation last week and I watched the all-in concept in full effect. Uh, where are you teaching this? Belize, that's gonna be our first one. <laughs> Belize, there we go. So tell us about, uh, for those of you, which is all of you that don't know this, Dr. McRae is in the process of opening up an implant teaching facility in the country of Belize. So tell us a little bit about what a doctor could learn at your facility in Belize. Okay, so let me just tell you about the all-in concept first. Okay. Okay, so that's, I think, let's just start there. The all-in concept is simply, if you think about the majority of implants that are placed today, we, you, you, let's talk about the three-stage implant. You're gonna take the tooth out, you're gonna place bone, you're going to let that heal for three to six months, then you're gonna put the implant in, you're gonna let it heal for three to six months, and then you're finishing that roughly in eight months to a year. Okay, true. Okay, yeah. so that's the majority. And you're doing that with healing abutments and everything else. So, what we do in comparison, we take the tooth out, do an immediate load. So okay. we put the implant in, but here's the difference. Everything has been, um, it's done in a computer. We have pre-planned everything with a designer. The designer is actually in Belize. That's the, that's the connection. Okay. Uh, Marius Von Totter is his name. Anyways, Marius, what he does is, and he's brilliant. He takes and he has the ability, which not very um, many um, softwares have this ability to virtually remove the tooth, have the exact dimensions of the socket. Then he can place the implant exactly where it goes. I talk to him about the implant, the direction, the depth, everything. Then we look at the socket depth and he can then put the abutment in and we can finish it with a final abutment day of surgery. Now, what do we want that final abutment to look like? You saw it. Right. And what did what it look, it look like? like? The, the, the tooth, the exactly. emergence profile of the tooth. And that's what we want. Yep. If we can make that emergence profile look like the tooth, the amount of bone loss we get is greatly reduced. That's the key. And so we want to be able to get the Sharpie fibers. We want to be able to get those hemidesmosomes to be able to attach to that final zirconium abutment day of surgery. So what is this going to look like in Belize? They're going to be able to work on these all-in concepts. So the first day is going to be all hands-on. And where are they going to do that? It's going to be in a resort in the jungle of Belize. Awesome. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I actually went to the resort. It's called Mystic River. It is literally right on a river. Um, it's unbelievable. You'll hear howler monkeys that are little. Did you know the howler monkey is the sixth largest or the sixth loudest animal noise in the animal kingdom? No idea. <laughs> sixth loudest? Loudest. And they're, are they native to Belize? They're native to Belize. Okay, okay. So apparently, anyways, it's, it's incredible. You're sitting there and you're going to see that. You'll see, I don't know, they said 200 different versions of birds, toucans. It's absolutely incredible. The food's incredible. So then, the first day is all hands-on. We're gonna stay at the resort, do the hands-on portion. The next day, you will actually go to the clinic. There's a clinic that's 20 minutes away. We have a lot of patients that will all have their CBCT, their scans already done. Then you're gonna be able to go and work on these patients. The next day is gonna be all surgical guide and learning how to be able to do the surgical guides correctly. The final day, you will then be able to do the all-in. So you'll be able to actually take that, that patient from not just a surgical guide and placement of an implant, but you'll be able to ha place your final abutment day of surgery. So it's just a progression for these students to Amazing. be able to learn correctly. The best part is the cost is very affordable and you're looking at most of these costs these days. Uh, we're at 12,600, I think $650 is the cost of this. It's, it's a really affordable deal. What's the cost? $12,650. And they get their own surgical um, Is that set. for a, a weekend or the first, or is that, that for is, a series? That is for the entire, that's for the series, to be able to take that series. Wow, wow. So it's, a, it's really a four day, because five days when you're looking at all of travel, but it's a four day implant course. Okay, so four day implant course, Jungle of Belize, working on people now, live patients, totally planned, ready to go. I'm assuming you're teaching atraumatic extraction too oh, yeah. so that they can they can 
have the site the way that, that you designed it and prepped it to. Now tell us a little bit about- You're also gonna get PRF, because you have to be able to use PRF bone okay, grafting. So you're you're gonna have to do it. They're, they're, they have to be able to learn how to do it all. So let's talk a little bit about the mission that's involved with this as well. So the, the best part of this is that we are going to be working, we're, we're actually working with the health minister of Belize. They are so excited to have us down there. If you look at, and I don't want to talk about other um, implant sure. teaching facilities, but the main thing we want is that we want these patients that get this work done to do it right. So if you're going to take a spot, let's say that they are missing three, four teeth. We're going to, we're going to put two implants maybe, maybe three, but it's going to be the right amount of implants. We're going to make sure that the restorative side is done for these patients. All of your tuition of these students actually pays for the final restorations of these patients so that they walk out not just with the implant, but actually get restored. That's the whole goal. That's what it's all about, my friend. Yeah. That's what it's all about. So, folks, I get asked all the time, where can I train for implants and become more proficient in implants? And to me, it's really nice now that I have an option that's a good friend. You're going to get trained the right way. You're going to learn the exact way to do it. You're going to learn Lon's way, the all-in concept, and you're going to be doing it for the betterment of the people of a country that need the care. So that's awesome. Uh, with that being said, last question. When? Oh, May. Uh, our first one's in May 17th, I think, is the, is the date. Fantastic. But um, you can go to All In Implant Academy. All the information is there. You can look us up and we can definitely uh, talk to you if you want to just talk about it. We can go over the entire course and how that's going to work. Awesome. So, folks, we will, uh, we will post the link to that uh, along with this podcast. Uh, we just when are you going to come down? Well, I'd like to be there for the ribbon cutting, but I haven't heard from the Belizean Chamber of Commerce yet. So as soon as that, but no, I'm coming in, I'm coming down. I mean, I, I definitely will. And you know, it's awesome to see a friend have a concept that goes to fruition. And like, I expected you to say like August, September, October, no, May, May. Yeah, May. we're doing this in May. No, awesome. if, if we have one, one student or we have all 10, um, it's gonna happen, but it's, uh, we're getting a lot of people that are very interested. So sign up early. All right. Thanks, folks. Uh, once again, Chad Duplantis, Lon McRae. Thanks for being here, Lon. Hey, thanks, Chad. Good to see you, bud. You too.